And this religious leader is also calling for more empathy towards Syrian refugees and vow to help settle them in the state of Kansas. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson explains why the church says this should not be a political process. When it comes to accepting Syrian refugees, Kansas Governor Sam Brownback said no through an executive order. But the United Methodist Church of Kansas is saying yes. The politics that can get involved is not really what my you know, concern is. My concern is with making sure that we do the right thing. Livingston is the pastor of St. Paul's Methodist Church in Lenexa. It's one of 35 churches under Bishop Scott Jones's leadership that agreed to accept at least one Syrian refugee. Livingston's congregation is ready. I think it's very important to be an example in our community and throughout the world about how people should be treated. I can't imagine a, a, a really any person in the United States saying there was somebody needed help and I turned my back on them. I just cannot imagine that. Next year, the United States is set to receive 10,000 refugees fleeing civil war in Syria. <laughs> However, after the terrorist attack in Paris, many Republican leaders fear Syrian refugees have ties to ISIS. This is a moment where it's better to be safe than to be sorry. While Reverend Livingston agrees with Ryan's statement, the point of his sorrow is vastly different. It's perfect love casts out fear. So if we're afraid, I understand the fear, but as we as we move further in love, we find that that fear comes less and less because we're more and more committed to just doing the right thing. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.